the controversy surrounding the ban on monthly direct payments in four states. As the economic repercussions of COVID-era stimulus payments continue to be debated, the decision by four states to ban monthly direct payments has sparked controversy and raised questions about the role of government intervention in the economy. In the wake of the pandemic, stimulus payments were rolled out by the federal government to provide relief to individuals and families grappling with financial hardship. However, some economists have attributed the country's lingering inflation problems to these direct payments, igniting concerns about their long-term consequences. The four states, Iowa, Arkansas, Idaho, and South Dakota, have taken a bold stance by prohibiting monthly direct payments as part of broader efforts to address inflation and promote fiscal responsibility. Lawmakers in these states argue that by limiting government spending, they can help stabilize prices and prevent further erosion of purchasing power. However, critics of the ban argue that it will disproportionately harm low-income and vulnerable populations who rely on these payments to cover essential expenses such as rent, food, and health care. For many Americans, monthly direct payments served as a lifeline during the pandemic, offering much-needed financial support during uncertain times. Proponents of monthly direct payments contend that they are an effective tool for combating poverty and promoting economic stability. By providing regular cash assistance to individuals and families, these payments can help alleviate financial stress and improve overall well-being. The debate over monthly direct payments reflects broader divisions within the economic policy community over the role of government in addressing economic inequality. While some advocate for targeted interventions to assist those in need, others argue for a more hands-off approach to economic policy. The decision by the four states to ban monthly direct payments aligns with a broader trend towards fiscal conservatism and limited government intervention in the economy. Lawmakers believe that by reducing government spending, they can create a more conducive environment for business growth and investment. However, critics caution that banning monthly direct payments could have unintended consequences, including exacerbating poverty and widening income inequality. Without regular cash assistance, many low-income families may struggle to make ends meet and could be pushed further into financial hardship. Furthermore, the ban on monthly direct payments raises questions about the effectiveness of alternative measures to support vulnerable populations. While some argue for targeted assistance programs, others contend that a universal basic income or guaranteed income program could provide a more comprehensive solution to economic inequality. In light of the ongoing debate, it is clear that there are no easy answers when it comes to economic policy. Balancing the need for fiscal responsibility with the imperative to support those most in need remains a challenge for policymakers at both the state and federal levels. Ultimately, the controversy surrounding the ban on monthly direct payments underscores the complexities of addressing economic inequality and the divergent views on the appropriate role of government in shaping economic policy. As the debate continues, it is essential to consider the impact of policy decisions on the most vulnerable members of society and strive for solutions that promote both economic stability and social equity.